tax reform and the return of tariffs. Many Americans have come to believe that the multitude of problems desecrating the economy and driving up the national debt are a hopelessly complicated mess. But there are actually some very basic solutions to the various obstacles we are currently facing. The United States originally developed into a wealthy and productive nation by protecting its domestic industry and jobs. Americans bought American-made products and foreign countries were taxed if they wanted to sell their goods here. The United States is still the largest consumer nation in the world. We should not be giving away the right to do business here for free. In order to generate funds and improve upon the trade deficit, we would do well to examine the successful trade and taxation practices of nations such as Japan, Germany, and even China. The most direct way to maximize profits through trade would be to initiate tariffs like we used to have. Those supporting the disastrous free trade policies that have ravaged our economy spread fear by talking about a looming trade war. Yet the very trade war they fear has already begun and the United States is losing. Every free trade nation employs taxes and protections to help their home economy except for the United States. The Chinese government gathers approximately 20% of its total revenue from a combination of import value added taxes, import consumption taxes, tariffs, and custom duties. By comparison, the United States has no import value added tax and derives only 1% of its revenue from tariffs and custom duties. China has set its own rules and we are being naive and playing by the rules that allow our country to be taken advantage of. As much as many people would like to, we cannot control what China does with its economy. We can, however, control what we do with our own. We have a massive trade deficit and a massive budget deficit, and the answers aren't going to come from asking for changes abroad or only making cuts here at home. Taxes, and in particular a value-added tax that was instituted with other tax reforms, could be immensely beneficial for the economy. Not only could we dramatically reduce the corporate income tax, but we could also eliminate the income tax for 100 million Americans. Yet serious discussions of taxes is often avoided by our politicians. If nations like China can generate new revenue by taxing American companies to innovate and grow, there is no reason we cannot do the same. Every other nation in the world, including virtually every one of our trading partners, practices protectionism in some way, shape, or form. Meanwhile, the United States is not fighting to protect itself at all, and these countries are not hesitating to take advantage. We must engage in the same protectionistic practices that are working in every other country in the world, or the United States will continue to have a major disadvantage in the world market. To learn more about our economy and how it affects you, Log on daily to economyincrisis.org.